What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode here on the old number seven garage. We've had enough fun playing out on the old number seven speedway for a couple days. So let's get back on the 2016 lethal car. I've got some really cool tools to show you guys straight from Hammond Motorsports in Iowa. I've got a caster and camber kit that I got from him and our setup plates. So we're going to see how these things work right here in the garage. Stick with us. Thanks for stopping by. What's playing tonight? First thing you do, set your gauge in your bracket and look through here and find the correct adapter that will go right on your ball joint. So this will screw right on your upper ball joint. All you need is just a couple threads to get that thing going. And we're going to get that right on the bracket and um, start checking stuff. I mean, it's as easy as that. There is nothing to it. I'm going to show you how easy this is. I'm going to do it one-handed. So basically you just screw this on your lower or your upper and you tighten your other bolt up here to hold it or you can still move it. I like to set my uh, gauge down here on the floor about where I'm going to be taking my measurements and let's zero it out. Okay, we're good. Basically slide the gauge in the holder. Screw that down. Make sure that this is running parallel with your chassis so you can just put an eyeball down it make sure everything looks good and this right here showing us at two degrees caster all right go off your setup book uh, your manufacturer gives you and if you don't have one call them they'll tell you what your front end settings need to be on these things um so we got this there's no caster sweep involved anything like that now that we got that figured out, let's go over to the right side and there's some pretty cool stuff I'll show, show you over there too. All right, let's get over there. Same story here. We just set our uh, gauges and our holder. Once I can figure out how to thread that on there, set that all on there, zero our gauge out, lay it up in here. Sorry if I'm blocking you. We want to get it straight with the chassis. So let me turn that a little bit. About right there. And 4.80. So that's what we got for caster on the front on the right side. Let me show you something cool. You want to know what your pin inclination is which I recommend checking this before you ever even go out. Start of the year, uh, especially if you put new spindles on it, you wanna know what this pin inclination is. The difference from your, your ball joint line going through here and uh, the spindle pin coming out. You know, they have a certain degree spindle that you can get and uh, sometimes 10, sometimes seven, just depends on what your chassis guy wants, but very rarely are they ever 10 or 7. They're somewhere close. So let's check this one to see what kind of pin inclination we got on this. And to do that, let me zero my gauge out here. All right. I'm going to make sure this is good and clean and a flat surface. This has got a magnet on it. So it's going to pull that. Okay. And we got our gauge here. We're going to spin it. Let me loosen this up a little bit. We're going to spin it to where it's perpendicular to where it was just a second ago. Okay. So we're going to run it straight that way. Once you got that, you take this measurement, this measurement, you minus this from this, 
or actually minus this from this and that will give you your pin inclination i can tell you right now it's going to be 9.9 .9. so that's pretty close to 10 degrees of pin inclination on this spindle all right so and you didn't have to do anything really special there other than having another gauge and turning that one a little bit camber well i'm checking it right now i've got that on this front of this uh hub here that tells you what your camber is all right and that's really all there is to it just these tools right here are going to get you exactly where you need to be without the wheel in the way your plates on here you've got all the room in the world to make adjustments if you want to you know move some stuff around so that just shows you how important it is to have tools that do the job easier it, you know what they say work smart not hard so that's what we're doing here we're working smart you need a set of these plates i will leave a link in the description below dave would be more than happy to take care of you he has sold a lot of these things so that's going to sum it up for the front end settings on this tomorrow i'll show you the cool stuff we can do on the back of it check and pinion angle show you how much rear steer that these cars get in them whenever they're at attitude some really cool stuff but we're just going to do a quick short video here just showing you the advantages i should have got these a very long time ago and uh man if you could rewind time right but like i said just a quick and simple video showing you how i use these to make my car right all right guys i hope that you found that useful we've been using them a bunch here in the shop a lot even off camera just fiddling with stuff just seeing how stuff works and it's kind of blew my mind just how easy stuff is to work on with these things give dave a call if you're interested in these they're affordable about every racer could afford a set of these and if you don't have them you're crazy all right these make everything so easy i can't say that enough um and he knows his stuff if you have any questions with these get a hold of him he makes tons of good Facebook videos, puts them on YouTube too. Um, Hammond Motorsports on Facebook and Hammond Motorsports on YouTube. Tons of informational videos on these things. Got his phone number right there. You can call him. He'll answer the phone and get you in the right direction, okay? So with that being said, we're going to wrap this video up. I do appreciate you guys stopping by with us today. Um, just a little tip for you guys out there, sitting at home, stuck at home, whatever. To get your cars dialed in when we do get to race there's no excuses all right tim here at the old number seven garage and we're telling you to get out there and work on something and make it faster